Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sim Ching Tong. I'm going to continue the our group training on the health topic, uh, side effect of Western drug part one. Let me start with the disclaimer first. All the information contained in the slides are intended for general health information and educational purposes only and are not intended to be used as a substitute for professional medical advice, treatment or care. The objective and content of this particular presentation for the objective, um, understanding the use of the drug and its potential side effects are important in our Songo business as we are dealing with health related customer <clears throat> and uh, drug cannot be avoided as especially when we are actually at the stage of pre illness or the body is not uh, well and Ling Zi is a safer option and also counter to the side effect however when the at the acute situation or the symptom is already there. For example, when the person is having hypertension coupled with cholesterol, so high chance that this person have to start with the drug first. If not, the risk of the stroke and the heart attack can be high. So for this today presentation, we are covering the part one of the Western drug, where we cover four types of four classes of, of the drug number one and zinc, number two lipid regulator, number three anti-diabetic and number four anti-depressant. Let me start with NSAC. NSAC stands for non steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. As the name implies, the drug is used for reduce inflammation. And the most powerful drug that can use to reduce inflammation is actually steroid. And steroid has the most side effect including wound phase and also affecting our uh, metabolic uh, system. So what are the drugs that classify under NSAC? For example, aspirin, ibuprofen, etoglycosid, or the trade name is uh, Acosia. So <clears throat> the drug is primarily used for real pain and reduced inflammation. And um, this drug is also used for reduced fever and as a having blood thinner effect. In fact, this drug, this drug is actually made from the leaf of willow tree. So the side effect of this drug, actually most of the time is affecting stomach. The drug actually will reduce the protection layer of the stomach or we call stomach mucose. Stomach have protection layer to protect the stomach lining being attacked by the stomach acid which the summer acid can be quite acidic and it able to dissolve the solid food that we are eating in. So without the stomach protection or the stomach mucose, I would say the stomach might get damaged or injured easily that form stomach ulcer and even stomach bleeding. And you always have this stomach upset problem. And the side effect of NSAID include worsening asthmatic, cardiovascular, chronic kidney disease, liver failure, and even uh, allergic. So, in fact, NZ can be classified into two groups, COX1 and COX2. For COX1 and COX2 class together, the drug include ibuprofen and aspirin. This class of drug actually will affect the stomach mucus and you also have a thinning effect. However, if you want to use a drug that only work on inflammation, the best you are using COX2 class, which is for example, uh, Acosia. So this kind of uh, NSAID drug will have less effect on your stomach. So it's a safer class of NSAID. We move on to the lipid regulator. In the layman term, we call cholesterol medicine, or we name it statin. Statin is a, actually is a, the, one of the most uh, used drug in the world as people are suffering from uh, cholesterol or population are suffering from cholesterol are a lot. The treatment for this uh, statin class include atovastatin, 
and uh, resovastatin. As the name implies, it's used to reduce cholesterol and prevent cardiovascular disease. And how it works is actually statin actually blocks the liver enzyme um, HMG COA reduct, which is responsible for producing cholesterol and also producing enzyme uh, COQ10. So actually, liver are the one to actually produce cholesterol and also the enzyme COQ10. COQ10 actually required by liver brain and heart to carry out energy production so we uh, understand that cholesterol can be 30 percent actually from the intake of food 70 percent actually produced from the liver so the setting actually will help to reduce production of, of the cholesterol but it does have this other reduction as well which is coq10 so what does that mean so let me talk about side effect of the uh, Repeat regulator first. Number one, liver damage, as I mentioned earlier. It is a stop liver enzyme that produces cholesterol. It also uh, causes muscle pain and damage. As I mentioned on the previous slide, it also reduces the level of COQ10. But remember, COQ10 actually is a form of energy that is needed by the muscle. So, actually, uh, there are some old folks who are taking uh, or statin. By taking setting for years, they realize that they actually have the weakening muscle, for example, on the leg. And actually, a lot of time they didn't realize that this is a side effect of statin. They thought this is actually a aging issue. But in actual fact, certain percentage of this issue is actually due to the uh, side effect of the statin. Statin also increases blood sugar for type 2 diabetic. And it also causes neurological memory loss. As 25% of cholesterol is in the brain for the purpose of brain function, the moment you reduce production of cholesterol, then the cholesterol level to the brain also reduce. So cholesterol is actually it's not a bad thing. Whether it being bad cholesterol or good cholesterol, they have their own use by the in the body. Okay, we move on to anti-diabetic. Anti-diabetic, actually as the name implies, is to reduce the blood glucose of the body. So where's the blood glucose coming from? Blood glucose actually is after digestion of the carbohydrate. So the blood glucose, the purpose is after digestion, you absorb by the intestine, then you go to the bloodstream. And the glucose is actually the food for the body cell, where the cell can metabolic, they need this glucose as a food. But before the glucose can go into the cell, they need a key. This key is actually called insulin, which is produced by the pancreas. So why diabetic happen? There are two types of diabetic. Type 1, where the person pancreas not able to produce enough insulin. There's also type 2 diabetic, where the insulin is produced by the wrong key. It cannot open the door of the cell to let the glucose to come in. So the trainer of this kind of drug is actually the most famous one that I made for me. And uh, as the name implies, it's treat high blood glucose. So how it work? Remember, our objective is where the body cell uh, not able to open out to let the glucose come in. The glucose is actually in our bloodstream. That's why when you do a measure on the blood, we see there's a high blood glucose that we term as uh, diabetic. So how the Western drug work to reduce the presence of the glucose in the bloodstream? Number one, and the glucose, when we, after digestion and absorbed by the body, if it cannot absorb by the cell, most of the time you store in our belly, in terms of fat, or even in terms of liver as a fatty liver. So one way to prevent the glucose to be converted back to the cell, because those uh, glucose we store in the belly or even in the liver is to prepare for us the day when we body need glucose then we can convert back to the glucose but the scenario now is where uh, we always have more glucose or more carbo that we needed so how the medicine work actually there are a few categories number one actually the medicine will help 
the glucose production by the liver. So we less glucose being converted from the liver to the bloodstream. Same thing, glucose is absorbed by the intestine. So if you able to reduce the absorption of the intestine to absorb glucose, then our glucose in blood level will be less. So actually another group of anti-diabetic anti drug is actually prevent the intestine from absorbing the glucose. Pancreas, okay. Remember, just now I mentioned that type 2 is actually not enough. Not Type 1 is actually not enough uh, insulin produced by pancreas. Type 2 is actually the insulin produced by the wrong key. So one way for the drug to work is produce more insulin. And also, if we can increase the uptake of the glucose by the tissue and the muscle, then your glucose then present in the bloodstream will be less. However, all these fine mechanisms will have some side effect. So number one, hypoglycemia means that blood glucose is too low in the body. This is possible if you overdose a drug, then your glucose level present in the bloodstream will be very minimum, will be less. So this is a side effect. Gastrointestinal or stomach discomfort, remember, if you prevent your body from or intestine from absorbing the glucose, to the bloodstream, then you will feel discomfort, respiratory issue, muscular less skeletal issue, or even skin rashes. Okay, we move on to another class of the drug we call antidepressant. Antidepressant is actually uh, to prevent uh, things like uh, uh, depression, OCD, eating disorder, chronic pain that due to uh, mind. ADHD and even some sleep disorder. So a trait name like uh, Prozac is quite famous. So there are five classes of the antidepressant drug. One is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Number two, serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor number three tries cyclic number four monomide oxidine inhibitor or maois and number five is other depressant i will explain more on this and how this antidepressant work is actually how can affect our mood is actually we want Certain brain chemical in the body, in the neurotransmitter, that actually will affect our mood. So this neurotransmitter, for example, is serotonin and noradrenaline. I think serotonin is very famous. Everybody know. We we'll call it happy, happy hormones. Actually, these happy hormones are chemical which pass messages between nerve cells in your brain and between nerve and other organs in the in the rest of the body. So these two hormones are actually involved in regulating your mood. You can lift out your mood. So once you changing this brain chemistry, this neurotransmitter, and you will lift out your mood, and then you become happy. But bear in mind that not all, not 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 everybody will have depression when taking antidepressant in your work. So number one of this. Classification is SSRIS, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So how it works is actually after the serotonin actually transmitted through the nerve, you absorb back by the body. Then the presence of the serotonin will be less. So how this class of the drug work is actually blocking the reuptake of the serotonin into the nerve cell. So you make sure that there are more serotonin on the brain and the body then then the then you leave the mood okay so this kind of drug normally people will feel the side effect the first time taking the drug the next class of drug is serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors so just now they actually affect the reuptake of the serotonin but this class of drug snris it actually 
will affect the after a drug for both happy hormone, noradrenaline and serotonin. So this is applied for most severe kind of depression. The third class of the drug is called trisolites and uh, it's similar to SNRIS class, the second type we mentioned just now. It works to affect the reuptake of both the hormone we mentioned just now. So you have the effect of having the two hormones in the brain and body longer. So uh, this class of drug will have more side effects as compared to the class number one and two I mentioned just now. And the fourth class we mentioned here is MAOIS, monoxamide oxidase inhibitors. So this one actually work well to break down the, to prevent the chemical to break down the two type hormone we mentioned just now. And these actually have a better effect on the body. However, it can be dangerous as, as this kind of drug interact with some kind of medicine or food. So doctors were unlikely to prescribe this class of antidepressant unless other type of antidepressant is not working in body. The number five is other antidepressant. Okay, there are several other antidepressants available and not classified under the one, two, three, four above. So you classify here. So the side effect injury of the antidepressant include dry mouth, weight gain, over dependent on the drug when long term used, emotional numbness, develop a tolerance, the drug never work anymore, depressed feeling, although it's work as a to anti-depression excessive sweating and even affect the sexual function. Okay, we move on to one of the products we're going to introduce today called Gardodema. What is Gardodema? Gardodema is a type of mushroom or fungus that has healing property. The Gardodema have a 2000 year of history in actually consumed by Chinese and the efficacy is recorded in two of the old medical books in China, Senong Pen Chao Jing and Pen Chao Gang Mu. And for the past 50 over years, a lot of research has been done on Gardodema. And uh, you can find all these research papers in the website called PubMed or US National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health. So all the benefits of the government on the health are recorded here. So let me move on to talk about how Gardodema is used to address some of the function that the drug we mentioned just now. Secondly, how Gaudama is used to counteract the side effect of the drug. Number one, Gaudama has been proven to regulate nervous system. Actually, it can relieve stress and calm the central nervous system. So calming central nervous system is important. That will actually um, have a significant effect on stress, insomnia, dementia, and mental illness caused by the stress. And um, stress actually are in a form that can cause a change to the physical, emotional, and psychological. If you left unchecked on this stress, actually it might cause a lot of other health problems like heart blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, and diabetic. So, gadodema is actually can work to the certain extent like antidepressant as it can calm the central nervous system. Okay, number two. Gaudama regulates circulatory system. Remember, we talked about three high. For example, if we talk about uh, anti-diabetic drug, or we talk about lipid regulatory, which is drug to address high cholesterol. Three high or diabetic, hypertension, and high cholesterol are the disease of the wealth of modern society. It may happen on only one high, but sometimes two or three at the same time. So these three high actually um, have the risk of heart attack and even stroke. So Gaudema can improve the tree height and protect the heart. For diabetic, Gaudema can protect beta cell, improve glucose metabolism, and protect kidney and maintain renal function. For hypertension, Gaudema is very good to regulate blood pressure. And for high cholesterol, Gaudema is proven to lower bad cholesterol and triglyceride. So actually, Gaudama here is actually proven to prevent tree high. And Gaudama is very good to protect kidney. 
un, unchecked hypertension sometimes will lead to kidney, uh, so-called damaging to the kidney. And a lot of drugs, for example, certain drugs for hypertension, where we never mentioned in this part one presentation, will cause burden to the kidney. And certain type of uh, anti-diabetic drug actually will affect kidney function. So Gardamer has been proven to reduce the proteinuria of the patient who have the information on the glomerulus uh, in the nephron. So we have information on the uh, glomerulus. So maybe eventually this will be damaging. Actually, this part of nephron is actually doing filtering process to filter our waste from the blood to the urine. So Gaudemar lowers serum glucose, creatinine, and blood urea nitrogen. So especially our new Lingzi, Lingzi, Yongkian S and Yongkian K are very good to have protect kidney function. So actually, those you consume drug that can affect the kidney, don't worry, you can take Yongkian S and Yongkian K to protect your kidney. And we move on to Gaudemar regulate digestive system. Uh, two things we want to mention here is Gaudemar prevent gastric ulcer. Remember, the first type of drug we mentioned just now, uh, the NSAC, actually NSAC, as mentioned just now, it can cause gastric ulcer. As I mentioned, Genshack, especially the COX1, actually will reduce the mucus of the stomach. Then it will actually causing damages to the stomach lining that might end up having gastric ulcer. So in this particular research, that mentioned that Gaudemar can improve gastric ulcer caused by NSAC. So actually this is very good. Uh, we can prevent the side effect of the um, medicine that causes uh, gastric ulcer. Another one that uh, uh, how Gaudemar regulate digestive system is actually Gaudemar to protect liver function. It can protect the liver cell being attacked by the super oxide, induce damage and free radical scavenging activity. Actually, it also can decrease the GOT GPT of the liver. And actually, it can prevent from chemical intoxic induced damage and alcohol, including all the uh, drugs. So remember, actually, one of the statin side effects actually damaging liver. So Gaudama, in this case, is actually very good to protect the liver. In conclusion, drugs are required as quick remedy to illness, although they inhibit that inhibit certain degree of side effect to the body. Gaudemar has a long-term body function regulating effect. Gaudemar also inhibits effect on reducing side effect of Western drug. So, in, so the, with the two properties that I mentioned just now, Gaudemar definitely is a hope that you can have a long-term effect on your body health and also prevent that side effect by the medication. That's all for my presentation today. Thank you.